Well, it's, uh, of course, it's one of the great wine grapes of the world, and uh, it seems to have a unstoppable, loyal following that grows each year, and it has done this, you could argue, for centuries, but uh, there's just something about Cab where it's a great combination of strength, flavor, complexity, and ageability, and, but also, in a way, subtle, so it doesn't overwhelm you. I mean, you could make the case, say, that Gewürztraminer, for instance, it's got such a strong personality, it's almost like, you know, the friend who won't go away. <laughs> but Cab, is, it allows you to kind of approach it, and you, you just don't get tired of it. It's like interesting at a lot of different stages of its life. Um, and that's why I would buy Cab, because it's 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 got that range of flavor and interest and structure and uh, develops character over the years that it's just such a uh, a um, strong variety in the vineyard um, it has no strange difficult issues uh, crops reliably for us withstands the weather probably the best of any variety uh, I work with in the state and uh, you know just doesn't have any mysteries or issues that come up that make it difficult to work with. It's just, it's kind of a workhorse, um, just real solid. Uh, we like to crop it for around three and a quarter, three and a half tons. Uh, I'm trying to make a balanced style wine out of it. So uh, up there, that's, that's a nice zone in Walla Walla Valley where things will get ripe, you'll have intensity without being overly heavy, I guess it's...